Hi all, this is Gannett from Universal Audio, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get album quality recordings with an Apollo interface and the free plugins that come with it. For this session, we invited multi-platinum producer and drummer Joey Waronker to work with A.C. Newman from the New Pornographers on a beautiful song called Colossus of Rhodes. You're about to hear the unmixed raw tracks as recorded in real time through Apollo using only the included plugins like the Vintage LA2A and 1176 compressors and the 610B tube preamp emulation. So we're doing this entire tracking session with just the analog classics. Basically we're using just the 610B and LA2As and 1176, that's it. So just exactly what you get when you get an Apollo and take it out of the box. Joey's drum part was simple and sparse, so the 610B preamp was perfect, fattening the sound like an old tube console. How about just a little bit of kick drum? Okay. How about a little bit of snare drum? Cool, Tom one. Awesome. And floor top. Very cool. Okay, now how about just uh, let me turn the click on and uh, play a little bit of that groove if you wouldn't mind. Great. So the inputs around this drum kit are all the uh, 610B and the 1176, and that's it. That pretty much covers the drums. And on bass, we're going to use a basement amp, an old basement amp from the 60s, and that's going to be going through the 610B and an LA-2A. Simple as that. With the real-time analog classics, you basically get the front end for your recording studio. It's like you have a console and all of the outboard gear that you need to get great sounds into your DAW. Colossus Rhodes. On Carl, we have 67 on vocals, and that's going to be going through the 610B and LA-2A and Pultec Pro and also Real Verb Pro. So drop your things and try to run The calls are coming from the house But who would want to hear us talk? Not one of us listening 
67 on vocals, and that's also going through the 610B, LA2A, and Pultec Pro. See the lighthouse in the night that points us to the rocks. You're the last survivor, there's no one to kick you out. Hey, I never said I was a fan of climbing mountains, no. We DI'd John Kirby's keyboard straight into the Apollo with Unison 610Bs. Lots of interesting layers of Moog, DX7, Mellotron, and other synths. We used raw distortion on an Oberheim horn patch to really smash it. On Andrew's acoustic guitar, we had a 67 going into the 610B and an LA-2A. To really take the track over the top, we finished the session with the Magic Magic String Quartet. We used a pair of Manly Reference mics in Cardioid and the 67 in Omni filling out the middle. All three mics went straight into the Apollo with the 610B Unison preamps with no EQ and no compression. We stacked them up and soaked them in reverb, which is the Reverb Pro. just say it sounded amazing you know and that, that, help, that helps when you're when you're making something to get that feedback that uh you know there's no bad equipment making you sound terrible and making you think you're terrible it's good to have that clean like transition between the you know, your voice and what you hear using the console app and the unison that's less of a digital workflow which i think is kind of refreshing where you get you get sounds and they're working and you just commit and then you can you know take it from there without thinking too much about processing really so that's nice i think and there isn't anything else that i know of that will do that 